After people stop their heads from spinning from all the tech in cars today, they often ask me, what's coming next? That's when I give them a long look and decide if they can handle the truth. I think you can. I'm Brian Cooley with my top five future car tech innovations. Not a bunch of sci-fi, but this is tech that is the next revolution and just about to go big. I'm gonna rank these roughly in order of eminence. Number five, biomonitoring. From the Ford EOS concept we saw recently that can tell if you're having a health crisis to possible new federal regulations that might require passive alcohol detectors in all new cars, our vehicles are getting their virtual hands all over us toward the goal of safer driving. But you know one day it's gonna tell you your fattening ass is killing its fuel economy. And then the next big car tech trend begins. Vehiculicide. Number four, partial autonomy. That means partial self-driving. The road to self-driving cars goes through the valley of semi-self-driving cars first. Today already, well-equipped Volvos and Infinities can roughly 70% drive themselves under many conditions, but Cadillac is gonna press the matter soon with something it calls super cruise control, automating the accelerator, the brakes, steering, lane maintenance, and adaptive cruise control there's not much left for you to do except remain liable if the whole thing chokes. Number three, LCD instrument panels. Let's face it, dial gauges in the dash today are about as up to date as later hosing in the boardroom. Jags and Land Rovers were among the first mainstream cars to go all LCD with their instruments, but out of the reach of most of us price-wise. But today, when I stroll the car shows and I see the Chevy Spark EV or the new Cadillac CTS with gaugeless instruments, the race is on to dial out the dials. Number two is apps. Now, cars with connected apps were exotic literally just 12 months ago. Now, it actually causes doubting murmurs at a car show when a new model is introduced without them. Kia Soul, Ford Fiesta, Prius C, thy names spell app and not in rarefied air. This is becoming standard equipment. But the number one next big car tech innovation is natural voice command. That's right, one day voice commanding cars will actually work. Car makers seem to know their systems are pretty lame compared to smartphones, and they're making big strides. Not just because they love you, by the way, but also because they want to keep the feds off their back, and great voice command will help manage distraction. Take a look at BMW's iDrive 4.2, using an amazing version of Dragon Drive or Chevy and Honda first with an Apple Siri button on the steering wheel. All of this gets real close to just plain talking to your car without that weird stilted grammar you have to look up in the owner's manual. The more natural the conversation, the lower the cognitive distraction. I make this one number one because it makes almost everything else in the car better and safer. Stay on top of high-tech cars and modern driving with the only show that's devoted to strictly that. CNET on Cars at CNETOnCars.com. I'm Brian Cooley. Thanks for watching.